In today's video, I'm going to be giving you over 100 dropshipping products that you need to be offering in your store right now. This is insane, insane. All of these different products are profitable year round. So make sure that you offer at least some of these so you can start increasing your profits. Now, I know over 100 products is an insane amount of products. So we're not going to deep dive into every single one of them. What I'm going to do is pretty much just give you all a bulleted list all on rapid fire. I'll stop every once in a while and I'll talk about a particular product that stands out. But for the most part, just expect a quick list. With that being said, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Now, before we get started, one thing that I am going to note is what we're going to do is break it down by niche. So the first niche we're going to cover is the patio, lawn and garden niche. And the first product on this list is going to be the hammock chair swinging rope. Now, this is actually a brand new item. This one started trending, I would say maybe this year or at the end of last year and is currently making some massive waves. So I highly suggest that you offer a few different variations of this one. Also sticking out to the hanging out outside theme, we have lawn chairs. People need to sit, right? Especially when they're hanging out with their friends outside. Outdoor patio storage boxes are another huge hit. We also have large patio umbrellas. You need to be covered and protected from the sun. Speaking of coverage and protection, we also have sunshade sails. Now these can come in quite a few different sizes. So make sure you offer as many different sizes as you can to accommodate people's different living spaces. We've got outdoor privacy screens, so that way you can have a little bit of privacy outside. Wind chimes. Now, wind chimes, a lot of people find annoying, myself included. But that's because all you hear are the metal ones that are just constantly cling, 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 cling. So in order to combat this, make sure you offer different variations with different materials. So some are going to be made out of metal, some are going to be made out of wood, some are going to be made out of bamboo. Glass bird baths, so the little birdies can take a shower. Water resistant outdoor cushions. Now this is very important. They need to be water resistant and weatherproof. Otherwise, they're just gonna get destroyed outside by the elements. Garden solar string lights. People have these on pretty much every single backyard that I've been to. People absolutely love these because for one, they add to the ambiance. It makes everything feels nice. It makes everything feel comfortable at night. And two, they just look really cool. We also have artificial grass turf. So some people can't grow grass on their property for whatever reason. Maybe the grass is dead, the dirt has no nutrients, whatever it may be, that's what artificial grass is there for. Also, it cuts down on having to cut grass. Raised garden planters are also another one. Now, for those of you that don't know, what is a grazed garden planter? I actually had to physically see it to be able to understand what it was. And it's pretty much just a garden that doesn't necessarily sit inside your lawn. It sits on top of it. So it's like a little sandbox, but for a garden. Outdoor water fountain cascades or outdoor waterfalls. These are awesome. I think that they add so much to the look of someone's backyard and it really does complete the look depending on what you're going for. And outdoor plant stands. Now, just as a quick tip, when it comes to the different types of suppliers that you can use for this particular niche, some of the best ones are going to include Walmart, Wayfair, DHgate, Home Depot and Costway. Now, I really liked a few of these different products that we just talked about. So this is what I'm going to do. Well, first off, I actually really like this one. So I'm going to import this one to my store. Now, a few of the other ones, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here where it says add products and do multiple product stores. So for this, you are going to need an account with AutoDS. If you don't have one just yet, you can sign up for the trial period for just $1. And what I'm going to do here is simply just put in all of the different links for the products that I want to import. One of the products in particular actually being this artificial plant. So all we're going to do is simply just go on here, click on the link, copy it over and paste it on here. Now, every single time that I find a product that I want to import from a supplier that's not AutoDS, I'm just going to paste the link in here. And once we're done, I'm just going to add as a draft so I can make the adjustments whenever I get to each one. All right, so let's continue. Next up, we have the beauty care and health niche. And the first product on here is going to be an exfoliating shower brush. Aside from that, we also have scalp massagers. Now, one important note about this is the fact that they're going to have the manual and the electric way. So the manual way is just going to be one that you hold and, you know, you just massage your scalp with. While the other one is going to be an electric one that does all the massaging for you. We also have false eyelashes sets. Remember, when it comes to these, you're going to have to offer as many variations as you can. And there's going to be a lot. These are going to vary in sizes and lengths and colors. So just remember, there's going to be a lot to choose from. So when you start importing these, if you're in the beauty niche, just be very careful with what you're importing and make sure you're very specific with the details. Then we also have makeup brushes along with eyeshadow brushes and foundation brushes. Now, don't ask me exactly what these are going to be used for. Whenever I want to import any beauty products to my store, I always ask my wife because there's just too much to know about this. As you saw, there's like three different brushes right now and they all kind of look the same. So this is very niche specific. So unless you know what each one of these brushes for, ask somebody or simply just go on something like ChatGPT and ask it what the differences are. So that way you can note them on your website or on your product pages. And we have another brush now, which is the concealer brush and sponge. 
Aside from that, we also have the bronzer brush. And this is actually one that I got for my wife a few years back because it was super helpful. When I got it, she used it all the time. Every single morning to get ready, she used her makeup vanity. Now, this is great for people that don't have a lot of space or don't have a big mirror that they can use to get ready in the mornings or to just get ready overall or do their makeup. So these makeup vanities, always make sure that when you're offering them, you offer them with a light, a light around the mirror because that's what they're gonna be used for, for makeup and you need good lighting. So always make sure that the vanities you offer have a light. We also have USB rechargeable water flossers so that way you can get rid of that stank breath or sorry, your customers can get rid of their stank breath. Then we have ice face rollers, hydrogel eye patches, which these are also another one that are gonna come in a few different variations, primarily in quantities. So when it comes to these, you are gonna have your one-offs where they just have the samples, which could be one or two different patch sets, but then you're also gonna have the boxes. So the boxes are gonna have maybe a week or two weeks or even a month's worth supplies. So make sure you offer both the smaller quantities or the sample packs and the bigger ones. Also, you can't forget the nails. Nail polish gel sets are another huge hit and detangle paddle hairbrushes. So that way your customers don't have any problems brushing their hair. Now for makeup, some of the best suppliers you can go with are definitely gonna include for one, Walmart, two, Amazon, and three, of course, check out AliExpress. Next up, we have furniture. Now, one of the things about furniture that I absolutely love is the fact that furniture, for the most part, is a high ticket item. So you're gonna be expecting some pretty high profits from just one sale. Now, to kick this off, we have a three-tier shoe rack. Now, I'm saying a three-tier shoe rack because I'm being a bit specific, but realistically, just any shoe rack will do, whether it's a four-tier, a five-tier, a two-tier, or a three-tier. Also, we have foam crib mattresses. Kids these days are picky. My son, for some reason, he didn't want to sleep on a spring mattress. I put him on there and he would start absolutely bawling. Once we got him a full mattress, we put him on that and he acted as if he was sleeping on a cloud. I guess probably because he was sleeping on our bed for a while, so he probably got used to it and he just ended up liking the softness. But regardless of the fact, kids love foam mattresses nowadays for whatever reason it may be. So make sure you offer these if you're in the kid's niche. TV or monitor wall mounts. These are essential home goods. People are always putting their TVs up on the wall to save space, whether that be a TV or a computer monitor. We also have dinner folding trays. Now, just beside any other point, I love how right here they have the old couple watching TV with their dinner folding trays. That just takes me back to back in the 90s when I'd be at my grandparents' house and they would have these same trays and they would be eating dinner in front of their TV. Ah, the good old days. Aside from that, we also have multi-shelf bookcases. As an add-on and a pro tip, if you're offering these, offer fasteners. A lot of people that purchase bookcases or bookshelves are gonna be putting them in their kids' rooms and kids can get a bit crazy. Now, because of that, kids like to climb on a bunch of stuff and things can fall over, accidents can happen. So for one, to be safe and two, to be able to have a bit of a higher average order value and ultimately to be able to upsell, you can also offer fasteners. Fasteners are gonna be those little things that go on the wall and simply just fashion your furniture so that way the furniture doesn't fall. We also have foldable platform bed frames. The good thing about these is that they can fold away and be stored away pretty discreetly. Hands down my favorite, a steel stand hammock. Now, sometimes if you offer this product, you're only gonna be offering the stand. Always make sure you include the hammock. So when you're looking through your different suppliers, make sure that whoever's supplying you the stand also supplies you the hammock as well. Alongside that, we have convertible sleeper sofas, adjustable indoor recliners, and hand towel bars. Now for overall furniture, some of the best places that you can go to for your suppliers are gonna include the AutoDS private suppliers and marketplace, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Wayfair, and Costway. Now, before we continue, if you want access to an entire list with all of the different products that I'm talking about here, plus an extra, I would say another 100, so totaling over 200 different products, then just let me know down in the comments below. Let me know that you want the 100 top products list and let me know which one of these niches and products is your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'm not gonna send you a cheat sheet because if I do, it's just gonna be a massive amount of text. So I'll send you an article that's relevant to what I'm talking about in this video. In there, I'm gonna have all of the products that I'm talking about here and a ton more. So if you want access to that, just go ahead and request it down below. Up next, home decor. And starting with this, we have LED RGB light strips. RGB light strips can really add to pretty much the mood of any room, especially if you have something like a studio. Just check out the ones that I have right there. You can kind of see the glow coming in through here. And same thing on this side right here. 
We also have round ceiling lights to pretty much light up any room. Vintage funny bathroom prints. These are gonna make going to the toilet that much more entertaining. That way you don't have to read your phone or read a shampoo bottle if you forget it. Area rugs. Rugs are huge high ticket items. These sell all the time. And people often like to change these because either they get too dirty, they start to rip, or they just wanna change the overall look of the room or house. Artificial plants because taking care of regular plants is way too much work. Floating shelves, boho throw pillows, and glass cylinder vases. All right, next up we have jewelry. Now with jewelry, one of the biggest and most profitable niches or sub niches that you can get into is gonna be handmade jewelry. People go absolutely crazy for handmade and they do not mind spending a few extra bucks. Now, what kind of jewelry are you asking? Just any kind of jewelry. As long as it's handmade, whether it be necklaces, rings, or earrings, they're gonna sell and they're gonna sell at a higher price. Next up for the guys, we have Celtic Dragon Rings. Personally, I think this one right here is pretty cool. We also have luxury watches, vintage pearl buckle necklaces, jewelry storage organizers. Now these are gonna come in a few different variations. Some are gonna be easily hung on the wall like the first ones that you see here. Others are gonna be more standalone or they're gonna be going on top of a piece of furniture. Like let's say this one over here, you're gonna put on top of your dresser or on top of your vanity or whatever it may be. Gold round earrings, a classic staple. One quick tip about these, don't worry about marking these up three, four, five times the price. You can source some of these for pretty cheap. Let's say these right here. You can source them for 13 bucks from Amazon. You can easily sell these for about 59 or even $69. Now I know some people are probably thinking that's a lot of money. People are not going to pay that much for these. Yeah, they are. I used to work at Nordstrom specifically in the jewelry department. And let me tell you, there's tons of brands that are super cheaply made materials that are passed off as luxury just because of where they're being sold. So take that as an example, because honestly, some of these are probably even better quality than some of the ones that I would sell over there. It's all about presentation and how it's marketed. A website that when you land on it, it has a luxury feel to it, a luxury look to it, and people are not gonna mind spending the money. We also have rhinestone water drop earrings. Jewelry tree stands. Now, these don't necessarily have to be trees. These can be in a few different variations, like this one right here, which is a hand just for either holding rings, necklaces, or bracelets, or one like this one, which comes with a tray and the little back part, which is kind of like a tree. But aside from that, when you're on the go, you also need a travel jewelry box. So that's one of the top sellers as well. And last but not least in jewelry, a jewelry cabinet with a mirror. Now, these are actually really cool. These are pretty profitable. And a lot of people are currently looking for these. So I'm gonna take this one right here actually. And this is gonna be one of those that I add to my store. All right, as far as jewelry, some of the best suppliers are gonna include, hands down, Etsy, Target, Walmart, and Amazon. All right, next up we have a niche that is consistently evolving. Year after year, brand new products come out, pretty much the same exact products, except I, I would say a step up or a bit more evolved or sophisticated. And that is the electronics niche. The electronics niche is one that's always growing. People are always throwing out their old devices and upgrading to the new ones. So with that, the first product that we're gonna talk about is a mini GPS tracker. And I'm not talking about a mini GPS tracker so you can keep track of your wife or husband. I'm talking about a mini GPS tracker that you can put on either your kid's car or simply on your kid's book bag or on your kids to make sure that you can keep track of them and make sure they're safe. Also so you can make sure that your partner isn't cheating. What? I didn't say that, what? Aside from that, we also have a wireless TV remote. I'm guilty of this, I just lost the TV remote or no, it stopped working and then I lost it. So now I need a brand new one, so. This is one of those items that's always also being replaced. Full color LED lights. Now these are pretty cool because these can either be used to light up a room or they can be used by content creators. So a light like the one that's shining on me right now, like this one, like that right there, or simply like the ones behind me that you can just change the color like that and like that. Mini projectors so you can have a pretty cool movie night. You also have podcast microphones so you can have some crispy audio, a wireless gaming mouse, noise canceling headphones, portable Bluetooth speakers, and last but not least, dual view dash cams. All right, next up we have another trending niche that is again, trending year after year and consistently evolving. And that's the cell phone and accessories niche. So the first product on this list is gonna be a tripod and selfie stick. People still take selfies. People are always taking pictures and videos of themselves. So a tripod or a selfie stick is a no brainer. We also have phone stands. Remember there's a ton of different variations for these. You have standalone phone stands, phone stands that are magnetic and charging phone stands as well. Of course, everyone drops their phones. So everyone needs a glass screen protector. So that's another one on this list along with shockproof phone cases. So when you do drop your phone, it can help at least start to protect it a little bit. Portable power banks. So that way, whenever you run out of power, you don't have to stop taking your selfies 
movies or your videos, wireless phone chargers, so you don't always have to be reaching for that cable, magnetic car cell phone holders. Now these we're being kind of specific with because in my opinion, these are actually some of the best holders for a vehicle. You also have bike phone mounts. Now, a lot of people don't know how much they need one of these until they actually need it. I went bike riding a few days ago and I wanted to track my progress and see where I was going. And I had to hold it with my hand while steering with the other. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but my coordination isn't necessarily the best. So that's kind of dangerous for me. So this product is actually pretty crucial for bike riders. Also for those people that have kids that are always using the phones, you have a UV phone sanitizer because they can get nasty. All right, the next niche is one that is pretty much popular year round. This is one niche that people do not mind spending a lot of money in because people love their pets and that's a pet niche. So the first product on this list is gonna be a birdcage feeder. Of course, people like to have pets, people have birds, and they're gonna need things like a birdcage feeder because how else are they gonna feed them? Another very popular pet is a cat. So cats are always gonna come with tons of different demands, and one of the most popular ones is gonna be a litter box because, I mean, we don't want cat poop all, all over the place now, do we? Speaking of cat poop and just overall pet waste, we have a washable pet diaper mat. The only thing I'm gonna say about this is ew, but a lot of people love these because they're sustainable. Once they're used, all you do is throw them in the washer or outside and hose them down, and then you can reuse them. Not my thing, but there's a lot of people that are very, very eco-conscious, and they buy reusable and sustainable anything. Another really popular item, of course, is gonna be the stainless steel dog bowl. And to go along with the stainless steel dog bowl, you have automatic feeders. The automatic feeders are awesome because you can go ahead and take a vacation and you can rest assured that your pets are gonna be fed. Now, of course, don't go on vacation and leave your dog or your cat like that. This is gonna be more for like reptiles or fish where the automatic feeders are gonna be able to automatically feed them little doses here and there. As far as let's say dogs or cats, you can still use automatic feeders for them. They still have those, but I wouldn't recommend your pets home by themselves for like a week with just an automatic feeder. This is something that's very helpful to use, let's say, if you're coming home late or if you're gonna come home the next day or the next morning. Cat window perches are also another huge hit. Cats love to just be lazy and look out the window. Aside from that though, you also have plush toys, pretty much any kind of plush toy because these are gonna be something that people purchase all the time. My dog in particular, he absolutely destroys any toy, so I have to buy him toys on a weekly basis. So plush toys, great option because people are gonna be buying them over and over. Adjustable pet car leashes are also another huge hit. Helps keep your pets safe in the car. To go with that, you also have a pet car seat or a pet car seat cover and a pet de-shedding brush. So that way you can make sure that your pets or your cats or your dogs don't have any hair on them before they jump into the car. Now, what do people love more than their pets? Their kids. When it comes to people's kids, people are going to spend as much money as they possibly can to ensure that those kids are comfortable, happy, and safe. So the baby niche is another year round, very profitable niche that you need to be offering in your dropshipping stores if you aren't already. And the first product on there is gonna be video baby monitors. As far as the video baby monitor, always make sure that you offer some that have these features. One, two way talk. So that way you can talk to the baby and you can hear them when they cry. Two, it needs to have night vision. People are gonna be using these at night. And three, make sure that they're able to be paired with multiple cameras because a lot of people are gonna have multiple cameras throughout the house. Kids drawing kits are another hugely popular item. These are used year round. People purchase these for pretty much any occasion. It can either be Christmas, birthdays, or to just give. Inflatable water play mats are another huge hit. These have actually been making waves lately, not necessarily to have kids play with them and get wet, but as a sensory toy. So looking through some of these, you can see that they're not necessarily mats where you can jump onto and get wet, but rather mats that have water inside where the kids are just gonna be able to squish everything. You also have remote control baby swings, potty trainers to help get kids ready to start using the toilet, multifunctional diaper bags. So diaper bags that have multiple functions, like look at this one, for example. This one serves as a regular diaper bag, but it also has that little extension where you can use it to either change your baby or just have them sit there for a little bit. Silicone teething beads are also a huge hitter. This is something that every single baby is going to need at one point. Aside from that, you also have baby walkers, kids' electric cars, which those are extremely fun even for the parents, and silicone feeding dishes. Now, as far as the feeding dishes, always make sure that they have a suction cup on the bottom. Kids like to grab their plates or their dishes and they just like to throw everything. So having something that can stick to the surface of where the baby's eating is gonna be a huge selling point and a huge advantage to you. And last but certainly not least, we have office products. The good thing about office products is that these are also products that are constantly being replenished. People are always using office products and then ordering more and more. Some places even have a department that's dedicated to ordering office products. So on here, you can 
have your basic office products, stuff that every single office is going to need. Some of those are going to start with pens, any type of pen, whether it be gel pen, roller balls, whatever it may be, offer different types of pens and offer them in big sets. So sets of 20, 30, 50, 100 pens run out like that. Either you run out of ink or you simply lost them. Happens all the time. Loose leaf notebooks. Everyone needs a notebook, of course. Dry erase markers, printer paper. Printer paper is a big one. When it comes to printer paper, this is something that's all the time being replenished, especially for law offices. Law offices, for some reason, like to use a lot of paper. They print out a ton of stuff to, at the end of the day, throw it away. I'm talking from personal experience. I used to work at a few different law offices. You also have monthly calendars, three ring binders, filing tabs, clear binder pockets, heavy duty staplers, and office supplies organizers. Now remember, I'm not gonna have a cheat sheet to go along with this because it's just gonna be a massive amount of text. So instead of that, I have an article that has all of these different products, plus probably another hundred or so more. Just let me know down below in the comments that you want access to the article. And also let me know which one of these niches was your favorite. Which one of these niches do you expect to add to your store? Are you going to add all of the products or are you going to mix and match? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll send you over the article link. Huge thank you to everyone for watching. It's probably going to turn out to be a pretty long video. So I tried to condense it as much as possible. But with that, hopefully you stuck around all the way to the end. And if you are still here, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.